Hey, hey, everybody. Ren here from CrossFit MRF. Happy Tuesday. Um, hope you guys are doing well. I'm here to take you through your workout of the day. So we're going to start off with a warm-up, and we're going to do three rounds of this warm-up. So we'll start with the shin box to forward fold. So you'll do each side. That's one. You're going to do three of those. You're going to do six overhead good mornings. Stand nice and tall through the spine. Feel a stretch through the hamstrings. Right back up. And then you're going to do nine tempo air squats. So counting three, two, one. Hold for one. And then one count up. So you'll do nine of those. Uh, and do three rounds through. That should get you nice and warmed up and ready for our 16 minute EMOM for strength today. So what that's gonna look like, timer goes off from zero to one minute. You're gonna do 50 seconds of up-down. So that's burpees without the push-up. Go out and up. You can step back if you need to. Biggest thing is to move quickly and keep moving for that whole 50 seconds. You'll get 10 seconds of rest. At minute two, you're gonna do 40 seconds of glute bridges. So all the way down to the ground, lifting the hips up, really squeezing the glutes. 40 seconds there, you'll get 20 seconds of rest. Then you're into 30 seconds of flutter kicks. So in a hollow body position here, you're gonna do flutter kicks. If you can, keep those arms up overhead. If you need to, you can bring them down. 30 seconds of work there, 30 seconds of rest. Then on that fourth minute, you're doing 20 seconds of squat counts. So here, little range, hips below the knees, add a little hop, making sure you're moving for that whole 20 seconds. You'll get 40 seconds of rest, and then you're back at that first exercise. You'll have three more rounds that you'll go through. It'll take 16 minutes total. So that'll be, get you nice and warmed up. Um, it's gonna be fun. So after that, what we're gonna move into next you're going to need either a kettlebell or a dumbbell. If you have a kettlebell, I'd suggest that. Um, but if you don't, I'll give you some options for what you can do. So this one's going to be every two minutes on the minute. So whatever time you have left, it's time to rest. So starting it off, you're going to have single arm kettlebell thrusters or dumbbell thrusters, depending on what you have. So squat, grab up. You're going to do eight on each side with that, moving right into 12 Russian kettlebell swings. So that's right to horizontal. Pick up that kettlebell, feel a stretch through the hamstrings, and add that quick pop through the hips to get that kettlebell up to horizontal. 12 of those. Then you're going into 16 single arm kettlebell rows on each side. So I like to get a little split stance here Put one hand on the hip, 16 reps on each side, and then finally finishing it off with 20 goblet squats. So really think about weight through the heels, keeping that chest up, and send those hips back and down. So whatever time you have left of that two minutes is your rest time. You're going to keep moving through, so you'll go at minute um, so you go at minute zero, you go at four, and I think this is outlined in the app, eight, um, 12, and so forth, up to 20 minutes. So I think this is gonna be a good one. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let us know how it goes. Um, this is definitely different. So um, post some videos, see what you think uh, about this workout. I'm curious to see how it goes for you guys. I do wanna show you if you don't have a kettlebell to swing at home, I want you to do dumbbell deadlifts. So you're gonna get a nice stretch through the hamstrings and you're gonna come up as if you were kind of bringing those hips through to the kettlebell, um, but just with the dumbbell instead. So big stretch through the hamstrings on that one instead of the kettlebell swings if you don't have kettlebells at home. Today we'll finish it off with the world's greatest stretch so 
into a nice lunge position. Roll for 30. Half pigeon. Roll for 30. Hamstring stretch. 